Hi, in this video I want to talk about um, there being no perfect design, perfect word, another word, just another word, just another description depending on the circumstance. Describing a certain thing, perfect to being perfect. You're perfect to being perfect based on every mechanism that you're experiencing. You're perfect at being yourself right at the very moment because you're doing exactly what you're doing. But that's almost a self-defeating because it's synonymous with um, things happening exactly the way they're happening at that very moment. Um, there's no really way to uh, look at these words other than understanding that they carry only so much meaning you have to take them with a grain of salt depending on the context and the way they're used, depending on understanding just how much they're um, and how much meaning depending on the subject and the context context of the word and how it's being used depending on the person using it um, and whatever it may be, you need to realize um, there's no perfect design. Um, there's no perfect um, this or perfect that. There's only getting better. There's never practice makes better, doesn't make perfect. Um, all sorts of cliche platitudes and the responses to cliche platitudes that you can hear and becoming um, kind of cliche platitudes on their own or um, kind of a frivolous, frivolous subject. It doesn't really mean much. But there's no perfect design. There's only better designs depending on the circumstance. But obviously, that doesn't. It goes back to almost like a subjective versus an objective. Not everything that we do is subjective. Um, it's just a, our perceptions, the way we view things. That's a for subjective based on an individual point of view, but it's subjective in an objective world. Um, not every single thing interpretation is a subjective interpretation. It doesn't matter what you perceive because that's an objective truth in and of itself. Um, perfect, depending on the circumstance, there's a perfect design, but overall, overall, perfect design depending on the context. There can be a, a perfect this for this situation, but obviously it's getting down to exacts because a number goes on forever. It doesn't mean that there is a no objective reality. It just means that that's an objective reality that we are trying to figure out, and it's constantly about trying to figure out the truth that we can um, narrow down to a truth, and that's about realizing based on the facts that we do know exist. So sort of like a number. You know your number is a number. Um, is 4 a 4? Is 9 a 9? Is 7 a 7? Yes, it doesn't matter what you say. It's still a number that exists, and it still represents something that exists in the world. And, uh, almost a battle against subjective, objective, um, um, nihilism, um, perfects and non-perfects, or what, what, what's, what do these words actually mean? And the words, uh, um, it's, you know, the difference between a context and the word itself, and how much that word carries weight, and a um, perfect, depending on, yeah, it really just, just boils down to a context in which you, you use these words, and I've, I've mentioned this before, it's a kind of a pointless video to make something on, but it's a, uh, I guess supposedly a good way, excuse to try to find a different way to describe things like this. Um, but yeah, in the moment you're perfect at being the, the circumstance that you're doing, but obviously it's another frivolous word, sort of like um, choice and freedom. It's one of those words that doesn't really carry much meaning. It doesn't really describe something any better. It's a perfect design. It's almost to put emphasis on things. It's a perfect. It's perfect. It's almost like a swear word. You get some satisfaction out of um, getting that, you know, loose on your tongue, having that word slip out. There's not much more meaning behind the word than um, <sighs> saying the word. Um, sort of like saying fuck or shit. You get some satisfaction out of creating an emphasis based on what that, that, that word can mean. Um, it doesn't really do much else other than carry weight to a specific subject and to exaggerate a certain point that you try to make. But there's no perfect design. Um, I can't exactly remember what I was meaning when I wrote this down because these notes, I mean, I just write down small notes. Um, one sentence notes, um, half sentence notes. Sometimes I don't come back to them for weeks, so it's sometimes I don't realize exactly what I was going through the context of my mind. But there's no real perfect design, um, whatever that may, may may have meant when I was originally writing it. Um, leave it open for interpretation. I suppose you'll fill in the gaps if I can't necessarily think of the thing I was thinking before. But it's a um, it's an obvious truth. Is the, the true only truth is that there is no truth. No, there is a truth, and the truth of you recognizing that there's no truth is another truth. Uh, that, that a pi goes on forever is a truth that we can figure out because there's objective numbers being applied endlessly, and we can understand that there's at least a pattern of truth. There's a truth there. There's an objective truth. There's a number that exists. Those things do exist, and numbers are just abstracts to describe a reality that's existing in the game, the world that we're living in. Um, and it's almost trying to boil down what where the truth is. Um, what the truth is. Um, there is a truth there, and it's an underlying truth. And if that truth can be described, if anything, it's the diamond that, there's a, that the truth is that there is an ongoing number there. But we can tell that there may be an end. There is an end. You can give an end, a contrived end, but the end is there. Um, there's no real end number, um, whatever it may be. But there is an end, and there's an objective truth, and that's no reason to believe it, because that fact that it may go on forever, whatever it may be, 
isn't a true is a truth in and of itself. So it doesn't matter how much you may seem a non-truth or not half truth or this and that or that other thing. There's a truth reality regardless of your interpretation of the truth or the fact that you may have a truth right or wrong. There's a truth, and we all do it based on a certain thing. You type in a, a person's phone number, you type in an, um, a code, or you type in um, the password. It's going to have to be the password before you can get into the thing, um, before you can get into the account. Whatever it may be, there's there's an objective truth of this game that we're playing, and that's just one of many uh, other examples that can be used to describe a truth that's existing in this world. It doesn't matter how much it doesn't end. It doesn't matter. It's not proof um, that there is no truth, sort of like um, you know the religious morality. It's an objective religious morality based on the fact that there has to be a religious morality um, that we have to apply, and then applying that kind of religious kind of connotation to you think there's an objective reality, you must be a religious person using religious ide um, ideology to reinforce an objective truth. You know, it's enforcing a false objective truth on a truth um, existence that we're experiencing. We're existing in a, a world with objective facts and objective realities in which we can based off of ethics and all sorts of things and realizing this is what's going to happen. It's not always going to happen that way, but there's an objective truth to the best outcome that could possibly happen based on the first thing happening. There's a best outcome. There's an outcome that's going to happen, but something's going to happen regardless. There's only so much we can do about that outcome. So it's about fixing those issues and those um, connotations and realizing that there's only, there's only very loose connotations. Yes, there's an objective truth, but that doesn't mean there's an objective um, the objective morality that we're preaching is a is, is contrived objective morality, and we're just describing an objective truth. That's not describing it's describing an objective truth, but there's only um, based on a false set of morality, based on a false set of texts and descriptions. It doesn't really describe a truth. It describes a truth that it wants to claim as the truth, without, but it's lying, and it's based off of more of a morality of truth and it's describing something because it's not describing everything that's happening. It's just describing uh, a certain spe a specific set of ethical codes. That are falsely misinterpreted all the time and falsely uh, um, for a portion to reality and applying it to the uh, condition of the sentient being to falsely make them believe certain ideas. But there is an objective truth. There is no difference. There's no, and that can be the perfect design because it happened the way it happened. But there is a better design, and realizing that things happen the way they happen doesn't mean that there couldn't have been a better way. There could have been a better way. But it just happens to me that there is um, things happen the way they are, and that perfect design based on the way things are happening, whatever it may be, beginning depending on the beginning and the end, there can be some kind of perfect design there. But there is no perfect design, real perfect design. But there is a right design depending on the specific, specific set of circumstances. You can say you'll never reach the best perfect this, that, or the other thing. The best way to do it based on the exact numbers you put to things, but that doesn't mean there's not an objective re or reality. The objective reality is there. Just put a bunch of zeros behind it. <laughs> Four point zero. All you need is one zero, as opposed to millions of zeros, infinite Google, Google, Googleplex, whatever it may be. There's an objective uh, morality. Even if we can't understand it or we can never reach it, doesn't mean that there's not a, a, a reality underlying that, because it has to fit in the universe. It has to fit in the reality that we're living in. Otherwise, it's not a truth. It only stretches as long as the truth is the universe is stretching itself. If that's the case. So regardless, um, it, it, in the end, there's an objective truth. Um, Sort of like there is, um, other than a description, perfect, putting emphasis on things, there's no perfect design. A design, self, uh, self-correcting, this, that, or the other thing. Things could still be better regardless of the design that they are. Um, the fact that you can fix something and make something better doesn't mean that there's not a perfect design. Sort of like not realizing just how bad something is or that you're addicted until you've uh, had something better. You don't realize how much the, um, the hair was getting in the way sometimes. Or how much this is getting in the way, or this that's getting in the way. Um, realizing all sorts of things. You don't realize how addicted you are until you realize the addiction that you are having. You don't realize you have to get out of the addiction until you've got you realize that you're addicted again. Um, until you're being a victim of that addiction again, or you don't realize how wrong it is until you do the right thing, or blah 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 blah, so on and so forth. Um, regardless, I don't know if I necessarily covered the uh, original intention of the, um, the the thought that I came up with originally. But there's no perfect design. Um, I don't know what I meant exactly by it, but um, I, I got a basic gist of it in the video. There is no perfect design. There's only um, getting better. <laughs> Cliches like that. Um, perfect design, getting better, based on a condition of the circumstances. Um, you're, you're never going to reach the pinpoint. But that doesn't mean the pinpoint isn't existing on a scale that exists in reality. The scale exists, but the pinpoint that we're trying to pinpoint 
we're on the board but the pinpoint is is hard to you're not going to reach the exact point on the pinpoint that you're trying to reach the pinpoint is regardless because wherever you are wherever you're walking whatever number you're trying to get is contrivance it doesn't mean anything because it doesn't mean anything the board is existing and wherever you're walking you're walking but the existence and then how how little you can cut the um how small you can cut the individual pieces the essence of something sort of like a proton or how blah, 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 blah. it doesn't really matter you don't need to know those things even if they do exist you don't need to know them but that's not saying they don't exist they do exist it's, it doesn't matter you're living on the board that exists and wherever the pinpoint is it doesn't matter where the pinpoint is the pinpoint is there wherever you are and the fact that it's leaving there every pinpoint is part of the board that you're in the objective board the pinpoint you're trying to figure out oh the, how many numbers are after pi or whatever that's on a pinpoint in the existence that we're experiencing because you're, you're basing on numbers eight one zero through nine you're basing on those numbers that actually exist and you're just putting a bunch of strings of those together it doesn't mean you're not going to uh, reach an end re re reaching in and not reaching in it doesn't matter there is an, a board there that's allowing that possibility to happen and when that board is existing and you're existing and you're living on that on a daily basis at least subconsciously recognizing all these things because we're living on a world where we have to make agreements and understand each other to a certain extent and uh, otherwise things wouldn't be hap happening well obviously they're happening because they're forced to happen but things wouldn't be happening nearly as cleanly if we we're basing it off of that kind of very vague idea of some kind of objective or perfect design or whatever it might be so that board exists but regardless of where that pinpoint is the ability for that pinpoint to be laid down is based on objective truth so I think that's really all I need to say yeah. easy stuff easy peasy lemon squeezy um, regardless um, it's not always easy and sometimes people don't seem to get it but anyway um, that's that's all I need to say um, and if there's anything else to say there's always another video even if I didn't cover it maybe I'll remember and see what happens maybe there's another video opportunity in just this one subject but regardless anyway till next time